Hey everyone, Kamara here. Recently I've been contacted by several people who have asked me to reach out to parents who have lost their children and try to give them some comfort, some words of wisdom and some courage. It's not something that I can give to anyone. It's something that has to be found within themselves. But I do have some words that I can share with you and with them that might help them make the path easier. For one, it really helps if you believe that death is not an ending. For me, I believe that when we die, something new and incredible happens to the energy that is us, that is our soul, that is the force that animates the body in which we live. Now, you, if you're Christian or Catholic, you know, you call that a soul, you can call it heaven. Um, in traditional Buddhism, they call it reincarnation, where you get a new body and you go on to live a new life. You know, in many different cultures around the world, there is a continuity in thought, and that is that there is a continuation, that death is not an ending. And even if you want to be completely atheist and go the scientific route, you can go with the first rule of thermodynamics from chemistry that says that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it's simply transferred. So the energy that we are is transferred when we die. It goes somewhere. We don't know exactly where. Maybe you have your own idea of where it goes, but it goes somewhere. It doesn't just disappear because that is impossible according to scientific theory and also to general thought. So that would be my first point, is that your child isn't gone from existence. They're simply not here in this body with you right now, but their souls live on, who they are lives on, and you can choose to see it if you look around you and see beauty in things and feel the love that you have for your child in your heart, then you will be able to see them in the world around you, in the smile of somebody you pass on the train, or in the beauty of a flower. Perhaps it's in a rainbow or a raindrop. You know, it's in what you see as beautiful. And if you allow that beauty to seep into your heart and feel for a moment, the love that you had for your child when you were holding them and kissing them, then that feeling and that love that you have for them is still there and they are still there. And you can bring that feeling back to yourself and you can use it as your strength. Instead of dwelling on their death and instead of dwelling on your future without them, you can realize that the experience that you had with them, it changed you as a person profoundly. It affected you, whether it's mentally and emotionally, in so many ways. Perhaps your attitude has changed about something. Perhaps you are more aware of what's going on around you. Perhaps you're more aware of something in the medical system or the legal system that you didn't know before. But you have learned something profound from your child's experience and from what you went through with them. And don't let those lessons be taken for granted. There was things that you were meant to learn through that experience and you need to take what you've learned and utilize it. Your child would want you to be the best you that you can be even though they're not here anymore. You know, you can believe that they're watching you or that they know what's going on, but whatever it is, when you give up on yourself, you, you give up the love in a way that you have for them. You need to hold strong, hold tight to that love and, and use that energy that comes from that love to do something. Make a change, make a difference, you know. That's what I do, that's what I see. You know, I take my, my sadness and I take those moments and I feel the love that I had for my daughter, Anaya, and I take that energy that builds up and I turn it into something beautiful. I turn it into the passion that I have for helping other people and I just channel it and I put it there. Now I'm not saying that I never get sad because I do. I get sad. Yesterday on the train I cried on the way home. But I didn't cry because Anaya was sick. I didn't cry because she's dead. I cried because I miss her. I miss holding her. I miss loving her. 
I miss her beautiful baby smell. I miss everything that she was. But I know that I am not going to let that yearning that I have and that selfishness that I want her back for me, I'm not going to let that in any way degrade the lessons that I learned and the knowledge that I now have because of the experience that I went through. And, you know, I wish you the very best. And if you ever want to talk about the loss of your child, I am here to talk. And I have nothing but love and comfort to offer, perhaps words from books that I've read that really inspired me. Um, and you can find out more about me on my blog at kameraloves.blogspot.com. Have a fantastic day.